artists have really been giving hope to the people through their images, which I will be sharing with you as usual on today's episode of Art House. A warm welcome, I'm Melinda Akinlami. Before that, we enjoyed this solo exhibition by a contemporary artist. Plus, a group exhibition and more will be coming up in a moment. Stay with us. There is no problem in this world that cannot be solved. The man dies in all who keep silent in the face of tyranny. Our spoken word today is by Felix Mokolo from Ikorodu in Lagos. I love to wake up in the morning when dreams and aspirations wait ahead. Oh, what a sweet time. But suddenly I wake up hearing sad news, stories aborting dreams of a good catch. What a bitter time. A mighty and dreadful virus that calls himself COVID-19. So mighty caged man, as animals are caged. The people waiting in silence, virus aborting dreams in silence. I hope to wake up one morning with dreams and aspirations alive. That spoken word was written by a 16-year-old, yes. He has been inspired by what we do here. Well done, Felix. And I encourage others like him to keep being inspired because a creative mind can achieve anything, just like this artist. It's the second edition of the annual juried art exhibition and competition called Next of Kin. These are the works of art that show what the future generation of artists are up to. It is a juried art exhibition that is hosted annually for the upcoming Maths Masters. It's just um, a platform to showcase the new one, encouraging them for, to come up and all that. Many of them earlier participated in an art competition which was organized by the Thought Pyramid Center in Lagos. And these images are the ones which struck a chord when the panel of judges were picking the final 10 from a hundred entries. My works are all um, part of a series that I titled Zebra Problem. It addresses the prevalence of child abuse, both sexual and non-sexual abuse. But I want to focus on sexual abuse because two of my works are actually on that particular topic. For some time now, we've had issues concerning this particular problem that we're having. Um, we've had parents who give out their teenage daughters out to older men. We've had little children who have been abused. So I've decided to use my work as a voice for these children who are not heard. This work is tied to the same intention with love. It talks about um, human relationship with either his or environment and the relationship between human beings. And as you can see, we have a couple here and we have um, other people at the background, which I think are, which I would say they are distractions. And I realized that when it comes to relationship, be it, um, um, relationships in business, friendship, whatever relationship. Third parties have a way of influencing the relationships. But in this particular world, you can see that the couple decided to be one together, not minding distractions in the environment. So, what are these young bloods bringing to the table? From trendy topics to human angle stories to religious affiliations, it's a no holds barred platform. These works are done with acrylic on canvas. Uh, my works explore things like religion, politics, and, you know, basically things that people, people 
to affect people in, in Nigeria around me. I, my works are inspired also by, um, you know, if I hear a conversation on the bus, if I hear people talk about something, I just like to, I, I like to develop on these things and you know and paint them. And uh, here they are. My work revolves around the humans, but the basic one I exhibited here today, they are actually referring to some political issues, the way people are disgracefully paid, the way people tend not to have their salaries on time, and the way people are suffering. So some of the pieces I exhibited here today, like one that I exhibited, the first one titled um, Options Available, talking about how people tend to suffer why they are in a land of plenty. You know, the nation we are in, people have, there, there's enough, there's enough human resources, a lot of mineral resources, but people still struggle. People still struggle to, to survive. Why? Because people are not paid adequately and people are trying to look for a way to, for balance for themselves. So the piece there, talking about um, how someone was supposed to take a bike home, but because of inflation of price for no justifiable reason, so she had to take a walk home. That's the one involving the bikers, like I can see up there. There's another one talking about where is my profit. That one shows how people just earn little and eventually spend all of them on feeding alone. Why there's no source of savings or nothing to go on with eventually. So that's where my profit is coming from. The person sucking the orange, she's sucking away her profit because that's the only thing she has to live on. You know what that means to, to survive. There's a Yoruba concept of um, Sharon Kosheni, called Sharon Kosheni. So basically talking about humans that can, uh, that can also be animals as well. This was where the idea stemmed uh, from originally. And then when I started um, exploring the idea more, I began to use the um, attributes of these animals to describe the humans that I, uh, that I use as subject matters in my paintings. Um, I started off by creating a piece uh, of myself, a piece of myself. Uh, where I had a monkey head instead of my actual head, and um, I was talking about how I was made made a fool of by the National Youth Service Corps, and um, uh, the works behind me right now, the works I'm showing at the, for the next of kin. Uh, one of them as one of them is a female uh, figure, nude with a monkey head, which is talking about rape. Um, the other one is a male figure. Uh, with a yellow beret, that's a self-portrait of myself, discussing my insecurities as a person, as a human, um, all the insecurities I had to deal with growing up, feeling like I was ugly, feeling like I was incompetent, I wasn't enough in myself, and growing up to accept myself. So it, the, the piece is an acceptance of myself, like I'm, I've come to the realization that I am beautiful in myself and I can be more. And um, also, I use it as um, a voice in the ongoing struggle against racial discrimination in other parts of the world, um, the H&M scandal from last year was the basic inspiration for that piece. More explanations pour in. I'm not just an hyperrealism artist, I'm also a conceptual artist. So if you can see behind me, the works are not just a single picture. They are pictures that lead after each other. There's one that has two images that transcend into each other. So that's like an effect, that's what makes my work unique. The conceptuality of it is what it depicts. So um, the story behind my works, one of them lost is, is actually based on an emotional state, emotional feeling. Yeah, like the state of mind of the model, the muse in the picture. So and the other ones, Palava, Palava is focused on the female gender. Thought Pyramid Art Center wants the artists to be comfortable in their own skin, an essential tool if they want to take the art world 
by storm. The winner is going to have um, residency with us for four weeks, fully funded in Delta actually. Then the runner-ups with their money will also get um, these studios so that they can understudy most of the great artists that are there already. So this just helps boost their work. And other upcoming ones coming here and seeing what's happening, it to give them that push that at least there's a gallery that is taking it upon them to give them more ways to go forward. It's said that the youth are the future. And these works speak volumes about the future. And the older generation can beat their chest that Nigeria will keep taking her pride of place in the art. Interesting images displayed there. And there are more from our creatives online still exploring the relaxed lockdown while encouraging everyone to stay safe. COVID-19, that's what has inspired artists to create these works of art sent in this week. Let's begin with Belo Adedoin's work called Stay Safe is done with thread and needle painting. Be Safe is another work of art done by this artist who is encouraging everyone to wash their hands. It's done with chapel and pencil on paper. Before You Leap is a bead on board work which is talking about a relaxed lockdown. It's not a license to begin business as usual. You have to look before you leap. Then the pandemic, a watercolor or newsprint work is done by Okopita Princess. Walter Frederick has the voice of unity done with mixed media. Unraveling the mystery is done with charcoal on paper by Dauda Yusuf. General Idagwai is celebrating the health workers with this work, which he calls Stay Safe. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for sending them in and we do encourage you to stay creative and stay safe. Amazing how artists are giving hope to the viewers with their expression. I mean, just look at that last piece by General Idagwa, paying tribute to those at the front lines. They deserve our support and applause, especially at this crucial time. Still to come on the program, more art for you to enjoy. You won't want to miss when we return.